Now, speaking of torpedoing, the economy from China to Europe is clearly in free fall. And you've got the Pope coming to speak the 24th of September. You've got CERN firing up to do some of its most dangerous experiments ever, the superconducting super collider or mega cyclotron that's in multiple states of France and Switzerland. It's so big. And even mainline scientists say it could create a black hole that starts sucking matter in and sucks the planet in. It could create a strange lit that sinks to the center of the planet and implodes it. It could do all this, but the probability is low. Well, maybe that's true. But mathematicians, respected ones, physicists, they've warned of it. You tie all this together, it just shows the hubris. Just like when they wanted to see if high-powered hydrogen bombs detonated in the upper atmosphere would destroy the atmosphere or ignite the atmosphere. And they thought it might happen, so they went ahead and did it. That's covered in the documentary I talk a lot about, just because it's well done, with William Shatner, Trinity and Beyond on Discovery Channel. It came out like, you know, 1999 or whatever. It just shows like genetic engineering, any of it. The whole world's a giant experiment now. And used to, they you know, put moms on some drug to calm them down. And it would, you know, they'd have babies with no arms and legs. And it, But that's just babies with no arms and legs. That's bad. That's a problem. Now we're doing experiments with the whole planet that could end the world as we know it. So I want to get Dr. Grip's take on that, the election and more. But he came in here and raised this point. He goes, everybody's bringing up the middle to late part of September. And there's an article on Infowars.com, the big list of 33 things that are going to happen September 2015. And September 2015 going to be the month that changes history. You've got economic alignments, top analysts saying implosion, acceleration, moving tanks and weapons in against the Russians, kicking off in September. Uh, you've got ISIS uh, launching larger offensives. You've got North Korea suddenly firing across today at the south. North and South Korea exchanging artillery fire. And mines have been killing South Korean soldiers. Uh, major escalations there. I'm not saying anything's going to happen big in September. But I remember actually a couple years ago hearing the last blood moon comes in the middle of September. And then all hell breaks loose. And Jewish mysticism. And I'm like, okay, I'm not poo-pooing all that. I'm not, and I'm not disrespecting it, but come on. Uh, and I didn't, you know, believe it. And I'm not saying it's going to happen now, but you go over all the things happening. The elites believe in this. Like the Romans used to go to war when Mars was in a certain aspect of vengeance or whatever. When they thought the stars were ready. And the elites today, most presidents, prime ministers, they operate on astrology and all this. So they believe in it. Whether you and I believe in it or not, it's going on. And now it's all coming to a head in the real world. It's just weird that like two years ago, talk about the blood moons in September of 2015. Talk about the last blood moon. Talk about the, and I'm just like, okay, and go take your Thorazine. And then now it just looks really weird. And in the last six months, last year, everybody I talked to does have this sense of this ominous or this poor, you know, this this portend, this this feeling of unease, of the edge of your seat, of excitement, building and building and building and building. And now I've gone past the dread point to almost like the hair on fire uh, exhilaration of the changes, good and bad, uh, is rising at the same time. A key point in human history, and the elites know it, they're accelerating everything. So, Dr. Group, I've spoken for four minutes prefacing this. What do you think's going on? What do you want to add to the mix here? I don't really know exactly what's going on, but I've been getting a lot of emails lately with uh, people that are on YouTube that are putting all these pieces together. You have financial collapse uh, situation. You have the Pope coming in to meet in September. You have Jade Helm ending in September. What I'm concerned about is or the research that I've looked at from all these sources that give you information and give me information is the CERN Switzerland project, which is the 17 mile circle that's buried 300 feet under the ground, which is a large hadron collider. And the research that they've been doing on that is basically to create a portal. And they're going to be firing that thing up in September. I was just. They admit shocked. they want to break into other dimensions. Because I'm like, you, yeah, it's just like, you know, you hear about the end of the world, Y2K, and this and this here and this here. But the information that I've been getting and looking at, 
uh, because I always keep an open mind to everything and try to evaluate everything. But I'm telling you, from all the movies that have been coming out, Tomorrowland actually has a, a section in it on the trailer that says 923. The everything is uh, Lego is coming out with a dimensional portal set later in September. The reactor is going to be fired up in September. Uh, they don't even know. It's like creating the God particle. We're like trying to play God now. That's what they call it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're what they're doing is they're colliding particles at faster than the speed of light to create a big bang. They're trying to figure out, go back in time and say what happened with the universe. Well, we just put a, a mainline news article up where they admit that they've already done small tests. Now they're doing the big one with more power. They admit, oh, we've already created antimatter. How wonderful. Well, if there's a chain reaction, bye-bye. And, of course, when you see, like, the last Star Trek movie before the last one, two Star Treks back, they admitted that they actually got that from the scientist of what a black hole forming on the Earth would look like or a strangelet where the whole planet gets attacked and by a mining ship that basically does the same thing CERN does, and it crushes the planet. That's what it would actually look like if they do this. And, and we're not saying this is going to happen. The point is they're doing tests where they admit it could destroy the planet. One gram of antimatter, which is what they're trying to create, is the equivalent of four atomic bombs. I mean, it's absurd to think that we would even be trying to carry on an experiment like that. And every one of the scientists said there, there could be dangers involved with it. But we don't know what's going to happen until we fire it up. Well, I don't know if Atlantis anyway. really happened, but this is really happening. This is really happening, and it's not in the news. And it's, again, it's just one of those things. It seems like everything that you look at, Yom Kippur, is uh, happening in September. Uh, when you look at all the different things that are revolving around September. I cannot remember a time that so many things point to September. And again, I mean, we're not fear-mongering and saying something's going to happen in September, but there is a lot of things. Everybody else is saying it. This is where I'm actually on the tail end of this. We're not the progenitors of this. Exactly. People are freaking out about it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and then you look, there's a lot of stuff going on. Right. And just the job, economic front. The, just the economic front. Look at the, you know, the controversy right now with what happened with the explosion in China. I mean, you know, that's that's a whole nother subject with the with the economic collapse that's happening. Who knows what's going to happen? But the, the main thing with me is let's try to protect the population as much as possible. Let's try to help as many people as we can get prepared. You know, it's always good to have a warning, not to create fear and stress and bring your immune system down, but at least know that, hey, if something happens, I have what I need to survive or I have, you know, an area that I can go that I can get clean. Well, sure. And by exposing up. this, being concerned, we don't have nuclear war in the Cuban Missile Crisis. We don't have a war with Russia. We don't have ISIS break out uh, into more countries. By talking about the problems, we force it out in the open so that a solution can be carried out. Like it, it'll cost two, three billion dollars to harden all of the U.S. Uh, electrical system. So if there's a Carrington event or an EMP. We're not back in the Stone Age. The Pentagon and Congress admit 90% of America would die within one year if a Carrington event blew out a lot of the power. Right. And I mean, EMP. it took us this long to build this infrastructure. We're very precarious, just in time delivery. There's just a little example of real insurance we should have. They actually did studies. It's not funny, but they did studies on what would happen in the case of an EMP. And you basically, everybody's not going to understand what happened, the majority of people out there. If you see cars all of a sudden dead on the road, you you better just start getting outside of a big city as fast as you can. Because they, after 24 hours, the food starts to spoil. People still don't know what's going on. But you have about 72 hours. After that, all hell breaks loose. All hell breaks loose because there's no food. There's no water. And in every in. study, unless they're talking about Japanese, um, it's just a fact, people then start burning everything down. And then, and then within uh, 10 days, um, right. almost anyone will murder others. Within 15 days, almost universal cannibalism. You also have the crossing now, and this has been this is actually NASA documents that say that there's as, there's uh, meteors that are going to be crossing in September too. Well, we're already entering we a bunch have, of them. That's why there's so many big that's showers. Right, that's right, and it's funny. It's not funny, but about six years ago, I was contacted by what was supposedly a top secret organization that was working, that was put together by the government to try to find the best method to deter a meteor a meteor shower. By the way, that project's now admitted. That's right.
But you know, I'll tell you about what happened with that project after the break. Well, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but it, the point is, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. We'll be right back. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Your questions for Dr. Group. And it can be on anything, but mainly health stuff. 800-259-9231. I'm Alex Jones. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's Alex Jones here with Dr. Group. This is a short segment. I'll go to your calls at the start of the next segment. Jeff, Brad, Adam, Andrew, Thomas, and many others that are calling in. Up on Infowars.com, Trump's immigration policy, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Very important article, very important video. We just aired it in the last hour. Be sure and get that out to everybody so they can understand what's really happening there. Another headline might be uh, the 14th Amendment does not allow anchor babies. In fact, it outlaws them, and we have the proof. So really, you can say that about the report. Proof that the 14th Amendment outlaws anchor babies. They're using it as the way to legitimize it. Innocent couple investigated for child abuse after social worker makes bogus CPS call. MLK's niece slams Black Lives Matter protesters on this show yesterday. Watson's written an article about it. D's nuts, that's not a joke, more popular than some of the major candidates like Huckabee, Walker, and others. Nine-year-old girl shot dead in Ferguson. No riots, no protest because it was black on black. And then the cops nearby in St. Louis, in the same state, raid a house. The guy pulls a gun reportedly, shoots him. Now there's more riots and burning. I mean, it just shows what the White House and George Soros are able to do. Another important report by John Bowne, if we move the camera over a little bit for TV viewers. Uh, the truth about ISIS. Here's how they screw you over at the gas pump. Another great report uh, showing you how some of the scams that are out there. And more Donald Trump still rising in the polls. So in this short segment, let's cover the waterfront here. What do you think of Hillary? I smell her political blood in the air. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a witch going down. I think this probably is it. She may last six months. She may get pardoned. But I think her political career is over. Uh, what do you think? I want to get your take, though, if you disagree on that. Uh, what do you think about, have you seen the new video of the little baby that's alive, fighting for its life, uh, and then being dissected? That's on Infowars.com. What do you think of this whole, this whole Planned Parenthood situation? Well, uh, I agree. I think Hillary's on her way out. I, it just amazes me that she has, well, I know the numbers are, you know, skewed anyway, but it amazes me that she supposedly has 38% of the presidential race poll. I mean, I, I don't see how that could possibly be. It doesn't take but maybe 10 minutes of research online uh, to learn about the past of that scenario. As far as Fergus, I mean, as far as the uh, Planned Parenthood, I think that's sick. I mean, that video is, you know, atrocious. That goes back to the Bill Gates uh, family with the connections to Planned Parenthood that ties into the population control agenda. And for them to be able to sell fetuses and take video of a fetus coming out with the heart still beating and dissecting, I mean. Well, I said I'd play it again, and I, I cannot bring myself. It's like when you jump off a 100-foot bridge and you're scared. It's worse than that. I, I cannot bring myself to order them to play it because if I no. play it, I'm going to watch it again, and I only watched part of it. And literally had so much acid produced that I started vomiting hey, last night. It's uh, and I mean I never do that. I've seen people dead on the side of the highway and didn't get sick. But it's just it's the realization that they're doing it, they're getting away with it. None of us are safe. I mean, it's the realization that we're dealing with literal demons. Yeah, I was just up in Canada and and I was at a little statue thing over there and there was a group of autistic children that were there playing and it was you know it's it's sad to watch these 20 children that they just really don't even know where they are and and you know it's, it's they like were soft killed it, it's like the video it's there's soft killing you just it almost it, you get so emotional about it it's like seeing troops have had their arms and legs blown off but it wasn't done by a foreign enemy to a man you realize this is the globalist this is their little gift to us right and the and the damage done i mean think of the the parents that have to go through this. and the fact that they children. can cover it up Right. The fact that they can just cover it up and act and say that the vaccines didn't cause the condition. And soon it'll be 
one out of three within 10 years, the CDC admits. And then it'll be, it's no big deal. Let's have a race to raise money for their diapers. No one wants to find out why it's happening. We're being murdered. It's all us. We're living in a science fiction movie, brother. Yeah, the slow death is even worse. I mean, it's just so hard to see these children suffer and, and the moms and all the psychiatric medications that they're feeding them and the vaccines and the genetically modified foods and the all the chemicals in the air and the water. I mean, it's it's a slow attack, a manipulation from the time. Well, even we've been suppressing births. I mean, that's why it's so hard for people to even get pregnant these days. In the West. In the West, the I mean, chemicals. All, the, all the chemicals. So, and we haven't even seen what's going to happen seven generations, two or three or four generations down the road where it's supposed to be even worse. We're going to come back. I'm going to briefly ask you about North Korea because I know in your military service, you, you were in a lot of secret operations there when things were heating up as well. We've had North and South Korea exchanging artillery fire and gunfire and people getting killed by landmines the last two days. Uh, South Korea fired tens of artillery rounds towards North Korea on Thursday after North Korea launched shells to protest. We'll be back. But now under globalist social engineering and genetic engineering, we are seeing the destruction of our very DNA. We are seeing the very destruction of not just our species, but the heart of the ecosystems of this planet. We are seeing a genetic vandalism, splicing plants with animals, insects with animals it is over the top evil and then the very groups that are pushing all this stand up on their high horses and say world government carbon taxes on all human activity 100 square foot apartments now uh, no single family dwellings families are bad no boys and girls i mean they're they're ending the species chemicals in the water to lower fertility writing books about it I, you know the white house science czar and then the public just can't believe the horror and has been stunned and mesmerized by television. But I do see humanity trying to shake themselves out of it. Adon Salazar came up to me during the break. He wrote the article that went viral. Horror, intact fetus moves arms, legs outside womb, and latest Planned Parenthood video. They had it up on screen in there, and they put it out on Facebook with a GIF that shows the baby struggling. And I was in there just trying to not look at it. And Adon said, you know, I got nauseous and basically threw up yesterday as well. And he said, I just suddenly felt sick 30 minutes later. It like hits your subconscious. In fact, I can't look at it anymore. Put it down. And I understand why folks don't want to look at this. And I know why you get mad at me putting it out, but it, it needs to be there and at least looked at one time. And people that are for this need to see it as well. I mean, if I see a little baby bird struggling and dying, and I know it's got mites all over it and fire ants all over it, I'll step on its head. And one time I had a girlfriend in high school and there was a bird dying at the park with fire ants on it. And I, I said, oh, that bird's in pain. I'm going to kill it. And she's like, she got mad at me after I stepped on its head. And I said, baby, I care about that bird. It's, it's, it's dead already. It's, it, look, the fire ants had basically eaten its eyes out. It's in hell. I killed it for a good reason. It's like, you know, and I, she kept getting mad. It was the emotion. I said, you know how they shoot horses that break their legs because you can't really fix those because the horse won't stay in a cast? I said, it's the same thing. They don't shoot the horses because they don't care about them. Well, if you can't look at this baby, folks, you shouldn't be able to look yourself in the eye ever again. I've looked at it. It's torn me up. You need to look at it. And other people need to look at it. So they're going to put the article back out with some updates and, and, and this gift that's gone viral for folks to share. We're going to leave the original article up with the headline group. And I want you to help me come up with the headline. What is it? <clears throat> baby fights for its life after being aborted? Uh, or baby fights for its life uh, before having organs harvested? And then we explain out of a science fiction nightmare movie beyond anything we could ever imagine, the fully developed child struggles and fights for its life with heart beating on a stainless steel table. I mean, this is the reality. It's what they don't want you to see it. They got 3D ultrasound banned by non-medical doctors because clinics were doing it because people wanted photos of their kids. But people were stopping who were pregnant who were going to get an abortion and seeing it was a human and weren't wanting to do it. This is a classic example of them trying to keep us in the dark. What headline should we run with and repost this? I like the ones that you came up with. I mean, really help stop the slaughtering and sale of living fetuses 
black market. I mean, something like that. I don't know, but it's. Uh, I mean, that's world, it. Baby world. fights for its life at Oregon Harvesting Facility. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Eat, every one of those headlines is true. I mean, it's oh my gosh, it's. I'll tell another really gross story. One time, with my uncle who died last year um, lived out in Fredericksburg, and we were driving down the road next to his little ranch, and we saw a deer for a few days that had been tied up, you know, you know had run and jump and got caught in a in a you know, cattle fence, and they'll struggle and get wound up, mm -hmm. and it and it was next to dead eyes uh, had been gobbled out by birds. Uh, but it was still alive, and uh, we, you know, I pulled out an AK-47 and, and, you know, shot it and then pulled it out of the fence, and I didn't enjoy killing the deer. I mean, but I, it did at a genetic level, felt good to put it out of its pain. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you know, the suffering, that's what we were talking about earlier. It's it the long-term suffering, and I see this with cancer patients year after year. They're suffering and suffering. Diabetes, they suffer, then they lose their leg because of ulcers. Arthritis, they can't walk. I mean, we have a society right now that treats degenerative disease, so people suffer how many people do you know over the age of 40 that don't have some condition they suffer from? Whether it's obesity, whether it's a joint pain, headaches, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, on multiple metaphors. All going up. Uh, you know, it's, it's a long-term suffering. That's exactly what's happening in America today. It's a soft kill. And, and I, I tend to start telling stories or analogies and never finishing them. That's how my brain works. But these are children that didn't need to be suffering and be tortured I was just using the example of the empathy I have when I see an animal struggling and hating seeing it, so I put it out of its misery. Well, I didn't make the deer jump in the fence, or I didn't make the baby bird have fire ants go up in the tree and get it, and you know, it falls out of the tree. With this, you can't deal with it because it's, it's being done by these ghouls who want to keep people in the dark, but I do think it's the helplessness and the struggling of the little baby, and you realize what bullies these people are. What lying bullies, and you want to protect that child, and not because I'm Mr. Goody Two-Shoes or Knight in Shining Armor. It's at a genetic level, seeing the young of our species being pissed on, excuse my French, being devalued, being debased, being executed, being tortured, and they didn't do anything. And watching all these people that call themselves liberals smack their lips and tell me how they're moral and high and mighty when I know secretly they're a bunch of heil hitler nazis go ahead well you know that's why that's why we're trying to get out the good solutions to stop <sighs> this abuse and to stop this attack and let people know that you do have the ability to heal yourself you do have the ability to reactivate your own self-healing mechanism you don't have to suffer anymore we can put a stop to all this if people stand up and people already are standing up people are becoming more educated looking at the positive side of things people are taking advantage of the technology that's out there to improve their own health they are waking up and realizing that they're going down the stairs of health one step at a time, and they need they can turn themselves around. They they can get results and start seeing results in their body. Exactly. We're not just about telling you the bad so you're aware of it. That's important. But about taking action. I want to go to phone calls, but briefly, South Korea, this is one of the biggest blowups they've ever had since the demilitarized zone was set up. You were in Army Special Operations. You said most of the actual... Uh, adventure you had an action you had from being a lot of places in Europe and other places was in uh, Korea there on the demilitarized zone. What's your take on the latest developments? Well, I, you know, I was there for I was sent over there for the 1988 Olympics because North Korea was banned from the Olympics that year. And I can tell you the North Koreans back then used a lot of psychological warfare. They had a whole city set up right there on the border on the DMZ and they would play Blair music. They're doing that again. Sounds all night long to try to use psychological warfare on us. We, uh, our unit never was involved in any firefights, but the South Korean unit that was special operations was ahead of us on the border. And they were involved in firefights practically every night. We were there to back them up in case something happened. So, uh, you know, there's always been tension between North and South Korea. It doesn't surprise me that it's finally escalating as we're starting to see different things escalate all over the world right now, especially with military powers. So we'll see what happens with that.
It just seems like hell's breaking loose everywhere. Yeah, that's what it seems like. We're going to go to your phone calls. Thank you for holding. Jeff in Tennessee, thank you for calling in today. You're on the air. Hey, Alex, Dr. Group. Uh, great to talk to you guys. Uh, just had a couple questions on nutrition. Um, I've actually got a thought on Trump, but I'm more interested in uh, nutrition. Uh, you know, with the economy and everything, as great as it is, uh, my pay has been cut. I don't have as much money to uh, buy supplements that I used to have. Um, just a couple things that I'm doing. I'm 37 years old. Uh, I drink apple cider vinegar, a uh, couple tablespoons mixed in a quart of water. I've uh, been taking the brain force, which I, the only thing I can say about brain force that I can really tell it does is when the stress is on, mentally I'm very steady. Um, I can definitely tell it's a very... It keeps my mind very focused and very steady. Well, exactly. We put it out not to make you jittery. We, we put it out with stuff that's really just components of the brain. And, and Dr. Group didn't formulate this, but he was just talking with me off air about what a good formula it is. We went to one of the biggest top manufacturers and, and said, we want to put out your dream product because other companies don't want to put something out expensive. That is for the producer. I mean, this really has expensive ingredients in it for a low price comparatively. Um, but that's why there's not even more caplets in there because it is so expensive for us. So much of the cost really is the cost uh, of the products. W why do you think Brain Force creates that steadying focus? That's one reason I've been still upset and yelling a lot, but I, people said, why is he so calm? Why is he so uh, more focused a lot of the time? And it is the Brain Force. Well, I'll tell you the reason why most people need brain supplements is because of the heavy metals and the aluminum and the geoengineering that's going on, obviously. They also need uh, vitamin D, which is very important. So I don't know if you're on that, but I would definitely recommend the winter sun. What's happening with all this geoengineering and the chemtrails is it's designed to block the UVB rays and so your own body can create vitamin D. So uh, from, from what you've said so far, Jeff, you're doing really good on a limited budget, taking the things that you need. Ultimately, you know, with drinking extra water, believe it or not, actually stress is one of the things that causes a lot of health problems to exacerbate. So, so much so, as breathing, that's free. Meditation is free. Exercising, but I mean, we don't sell it. We promote brag. You believe it's the best. I do, too. Apple cider vinegar just daily is the game changer. Well, you know, everything's going towards gut health. And that's why yeah. the oxy powder is so effective. It helps heal the gut. Probiotics are the new thing that everybody needs to be talking about because everything really starts in the gut and the liver. And also making sure that your liver is clean. You have the liver shield here, which is an incredible product that people can take to clean the liver every now and then. Let the liver function again because the liver is what really handles all the chemicals and the toxins and detoxifies them from your system. So if you heal the gut, heal the liver, reduce your stress, you're making serious strides to perfect health. And that's why people are, you know, drinking, you can drink kombucha tea, you know, the fermented foods, you know, getting those good probiotics. It's just a lifestyle change. Don't eat processed foods. Don't eat GMO. Uh, drink a lot of water. Get more exercise. And again, I'm not Mr. Beach Boy, but compared in the photos we put out, to myself 10 years ago, and now, I mean, I've lost 60-plus pounds of fat. And, I mean, when, I, when I'm when i in a bathing suit, people can really see it. Maybe we can dig up the photos. I didn't plan to plug this stuff, but, I mean, it's a massive difference. Anything else, Jeff? Well, I was also going to say that uh, I take the Tangy Tangerine. Um, I can definitely tell that that's a really good product. The vitamin D, um, you think that's a pretty good, that would be something good to add to what, you know, those things that I'm doing? Well, what I've read from chemists and medical doctors and everybody is vitamin D really is a building block of everything, isn't it, group? Vitamin D and iodine are pretty much the building blocks that we've seen. Also, people are deficient in B as well. That's why we have the secret uh, 12. But I, I, you know, I take vitamin B, I take the vitamin D, and I take the iodine on either a daily or every other day, at least a few times a week. Those are essential that you're going to need to function, that there's receptor sites for every cell in the body. And I think that uncovering, it's about uncovering the agenda too. And when you see and you look up and you look at, okay, why are they doing geoengineering? Or why are they taking iodine? Thank you, caller. Out of Thank everything? you, Jeff. Then you realize that it's a combination of things. Why are they putting all the phthalates and all the BPA and all the plastic? By the way, you go and look at what they're doing to public school children in the sixth and seventh grade when they know they're not questioning, fifth, sixth, seventh, 
it was probably 10 years ago. We've dug it back up before. If anybody's got it, resend it to us. It was on the uh, Prison Planet forums, how I found out about it. And then the listener mailed me the textbook. So it's somewhere around this giant office area and, and back there in storage. The mainline national, one of the most popular uh, uh, science textbooks used for sixth graders in the United States. This was sent to us from Kansas City, a KCXL listener, still on that, uh, that fine affiliate. And I'll never forget, I mean, I covered it for weeks. It was in there telling the kids, yes, we added to the jet fuel, barium sulfur dioxide to block the UV rays. It's going to give you cancer, and it's to stop global warming, and it's a project. So the textbook, government approved, admits it. Then they tell us it doesn't exist. We can go out and find the government funding for the program. I mean, there's just so much incredible secret stuff going on is what I'm getting at. And then they'll sit right there. I remember Time Magazine for Kids, again, about 12 years ago, a listener mailed in. It was Time Magazine for Kids, and it said, your parents are from a bygone age. They don't know what they're doing. You're smart. You're going to take chips under the skin. You understand. And it was written like satire to an adult that it was just naked propaganda. But that's targeting a sixth grader. Again, like you're rebelling against your parents. You're going to get a chip, knowing that when they're then 20, and, the, and then the chip comes out, which is now happening, they'll be subconsciously, subliminally at that point, when something's that old, it's subliminal, conditioned to accept taking the microchip. That's how cold-blooded, I mean, it's so systematic, Dr. Group. That's why they come out with all the movies, too, and all the cartoons and everything else to, to start at an early age to, you know, condition the minds. I mean, but uh, on the positive note of that, that's why you figure out, OK, what's going on with geoengineering? I, I look at it as how is that affecting everybody's health? OK, it's blocking the UVB rays. It's going to suppress vitamin D production. Every cell needs vitamin D. Uh, that must mean that there's an agenda to block vitamin D. And that's exactly what's going on, because you can even trace that agenda back to the creation. of Absolutely. Sunscreen. I meant to cover this for two weeks. I, I forget what they're called, but I was on the elliptical two weeks ago. In Europe. And I thought I was looking at a science fiction movie. It looked bizarre of these lakes in California where they put like 6 million plastic spheres in it. And it reduces something like 300% the amount of uh, evaporation. That's an example of a mass geoengineering program. And maybe during the break we can show some footage of that. But that's what these globalists are into. They're terraforming the planet right now. But to some new weird freaky design with aluminum in the soil that plants can't grow in. I mean, it is just crazy that all of this is happening and that all of this is unfolding. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Dr. Grip's my guest. More calls straight ahead. Dr. Grip is an amazing individual, good friend of mine. We hang out, my wife and he and family whenever he comes to town, his wife. And he gets me so excited, the topics he brings up, that I constantly interrupt. It's very rude. I apologize for it. I've gotten better overall, but we get into science discussions. I start hyperventilating. We're going to hold him 15 minutes to the next hour and then get Tosh Plumley on with his breaking news on Benghazi so that he has time to take your calls. Because I'm always trying to get him in on topics. He goes, yeah, I want to come into Austin, but I want to talk to your listeners you know, about their questions. So we're going to go to your phone calls. But on the shade ball issue, they're putting 300 million They're saying that these can save 300 million gallons of water annually at one Los Angeles reservoir alone. And they're putting millions of the shade balls into the lake. And when we show this video, I'm sure you've all seen it already. It's been out for weeks. The entire lake is covered with the black balls. And I just wonder what type of VOCs, what type of bisphenols it's putting in the water. Now, it's supposed to stop this algae that is linked to cancer. Okay, great. But this is an example of geoengineering. When you talk about chemtrails, the layman parochial term, there is a giant quasi-secret program going on that the Arabs, like in Dubai, admits going on. So just like harvesting babies' organs is being kept secret, you need to understand, folks, it's only quasi-secret. It's only secret enough on the surface to have you not investigate it. The Department of Energy admits they spend $5 billion a year in geoengineering testing 
That's in close quotes because under U.S. Code Title 30, Chapter 32, so Section 1528, Paragraph B, any testing is legal as long as it's for research, including lethal. That's key. Go read it for yourself. U.S. Code Title 50, Chapter 32, and the other subsections I mentioned. It says it's only legal unless for research purposes. So who, what we know about is so fantastical it makes my head spin. Dr. Group, we're going to go to break, come back and take calls. But what else do you think is going on we don't know about if what we already know is beyond science fiction? Well, uh, there's one thing that I know, and that's to focus on the figuring out the solutions for each individual thing. And, you know, you know that you have bad air that you're breathing. So there's solutions to cleaning up the air quality by putting live plants in your home, increasing the oxygen, getting a good air purification system. We know the water's bad, so we can just make sure that we drink clean water with organic apple cider vinegar added to get the nutrients and the probiotics and the enzymes. We know we can take a vitamin D supplement to combat the geoengineering scenario with the UVB rays, and that's going to protect all of our cells. We know that we can take iodine to combat and decalcify the pineal gland and get rid of all the fluoride and the chlorine and the bromine that is toxic and that we're, that they're exposing us to on a regular basis. We know we need to clean our intestines on a regular basis and put good probiotics in. So it's really about, yes, we are being bombarded. There are trails of these things going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, Could you imagine being able to have the top globalist master plan and, and they admit they have these and actually see what the end game is? I mean, we already see a lot of it. A reduced population, robots, a new engineered planet with all these splice species, it sounds like something the devil would do. I don't think anybody that would is good <laughs> would be doing this, that's for sure. I mean, there is a lot of negative and a lot of evil. With well, It's all. also super dangerous. It's extremely, I mean, what we're seeing is a sick and diseased planet, a sick and diseased universe, sick and diseased animals, sick and diseased humans. Everything is sick and diseased. And they're not trying to stop entropy, they're trying to accelerate it. That's right. I mean, but more and more people are, are figuring it out and there are solutions to it. You have to learn how to live with it. You have to learn how to combat it. You have to learn how to prevent it from affecting you and your family. You know, I could write a science fiction book where aliens run the planet. And this is all like a big test to, to like create the superhumans that are going to survive what comes out of this. And the ultimate prison planet you know, that would make uh, the prison planet from Dune look like a heavenly place. Guys, let's roll the footage of the millions of black balls that they're dumping in to L.A. Uh, Reservoir. And I saw this a few weeks ago. I meant to cover it. It's an example of geoengineering. We need the hashtag black balls matter because they do. We were talking earlier and Dr. Group said that's the worst color ever black. It's going to make bacteria grow under it. It's going to heat the water up and cause more of it to go into the air. They claim it's to stop bacteria and algae. Again, I'm no rocket scientist, but algae grows under stuff like that. Maybe if they totally cover it, they're right and I'm wrong. But even Fox News, Nico just ran in with this and said, L.A. Black Ball Reservoir rollout, potential disaster in the making, say other experts, and they say that the $34.5 million uh, tiny black plastic balls, they're pretty big balls. Like, Anyways, the point is, like the baseball size, a little bit smaller, th are saying it'll actually grow bacteria and heat up the water. Same thing we said. <laughs> We're not, I guess you're a scientist. I mean, any idiot could say, why do they make the balls white? That'll reflect the light back up. Why don't a reflector is white. It ain't black. Black absorbs. Right. The, the worst thing you can do is start messing with nature. What you need to start doing is supporting nature. Plant more But I mean, trees. we're not rocket scientists. Why aren't the balls white because or silver? You don't even need balls in there. All you need to do is just look at other solutions, planting more trees. Do planting. black balls matter? <laughs> <laughs> that was a setup. I'm not even going to answer that. <laughs> Hashtag black ball. Hey, Richard came up with it in my ear just now. <laughs> People always think somebody's not telling me what to say. They they do. No, they pop in occasionally. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the guy that's like one of the front runners of the campaign isn't even real. Did you hear about those things? Uh, yeah, I'm not nuts. trying to be a comedy show. To He's be got nine percent of the votes or whatever. Yeah, D's nuts. Yeah, yeah D's nuts. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I ask them anyway. Let's. If it's okay, we apologize. Let's take some calls. We're going to calls. I apologize. I'm evil. Brad in Louisiana, you're on the air. Go ahead. 
Alex, that was so funny, man. You can t- you can tell that you guys are good friends, and um, I really appreciate it. I refer to you as the dynamic duo. I have a question for Dr. Group, and I have a, uh, a comment for you, sir. Sure, brother. Go ahead. First of all, okay, good. Um, there is an agenda underway, as you regularly state on depopulation and with regard to uh, at least putting the population growth into remission. And so I asked Dr. Group, uh, what does he feel is the purpose behind um, the introduction of uh, dietary supplements such as uh, this um, nicotinamide riboside, which involves the dealing with a yeast cell, uh, manipulation of the uh, DNA there, and, and advertising it as weight reduction, anti-aging, and libido enhancement, cardiovascular health, etc. Why are they doing this when we know that that's exactly the opposite of what they in Tend for us. Well, the globalists will always sell you the solution, at least a treatment to the problem they've helped create. I don't know what company you're talking about. They may be great. I'm not a you know chemist or expert like folks that Dr. Group works with. But Dr. Group, do you know what he's talking about? There's always some sort of, even though they make it look good out here in the marketing and everything, there's always some ulter- ulterior motive that you have to look at. And it might be as simple as some sort of a filler ingredient that they're putting in there. It all comes down to simplicity, though. Anything comes to, you know, when you look at all the stuff and all the research that I've done, everything comes back to you have the ability to heal yourself, prevent aging, prevent stress, everything. If you just put a little bit of time and effort into your own body. And that is the really the simple solution of reactivating your body's own self-healing mechanism. And of course, you do need some supplements and some things that they're just not available to help yourself, you know, preserve yourself and prevent degenerative illness. All right, hope that answers your question, Brad. God bless you. Adam, Andrew, Missy, James, your calls are just three minutes away with Dr. Group in studio. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Tosh Plumlee, CIA contractor whistleblower on Benghazi. He wants to talk about Hillary Clinton. He's got more info for folks that's coming up in the next segment. Then, in the last segment of the broadcast, I had asked uh, McBreen and Dew to put together something tied into Red Dawn. They've kind of rushed this out, but it's good. They'll probably polish it up for next week, but we're going to air a uh, special little Red Dawn intro that dovetails and ties into how our society is becoming like that movie itself, many parallels uh, in films that were showing dystopic tyrannies. You now look around you, it's become reality in many ways. And we're here trying to reverse getting into the position where tyranny completely takes over. Really, there's two parallel tracks, liberty and tyranny. And there's still a lot of freedom because we exercise it. But the tyrants are trying to train us to get rid of it and to follow whatever order they say. The largest uh, homosexual group in the country uh, just came out. So you used to, I'd be nice and go, if it makes you feel better, I'll say gay. Because I don't have anything against anybody. But it's a political agenda using the fact that we're nice to go, okay, don't use the term husband and wife or boy and girl now. And you're going to go in a bathroom with women. And your daughters are going to go in bathrooms with men. And you're going to use the words we say. Well, you know what? I'm going to use the word homosexual then. How's that sound? It's scientific, just like heterosexual. It isn't attacking you. And if I wanted to attack you, I could. It's my First Amendment. They're trying to get rid of free speech, folks. These people are totalitarians using different fake civil rights movements as they take all of our basic liberties. I want to go to Adam. I want to go to uh, Andrew. I want to go to James and others that have been patiently holding for Dr. Edward Group to answer your questions. But any comment, because you've talked a lot about the attack on the genders, I mean, again, this is like a Twilight Zone episode that it's getting this naked. Do you think it's desperation by the system, accelerating their timetable? We've always known Brave New World is a blueprint, a owner's manual, not a fiction book. In Huxley's own words, his brother ran the UN, uh, Julian Huxley. Are they accelerating it because they're in trouble or because they're arrogant? Both, probably. It's all about money and power and control. And, you know, if you have a whole society and a whole world that depends on credit cards and fake currency and the doctors and the pharmaceutical companies and the oil and gas industries and 
um, is reliant upon the government, then, you know, that's the situation that they want. I mean, you're easily controllable. You're sick all the time. You can't think for yourself. You're non-motivated. I mean, I, it's so hard to even find somebody to work these days. Uh, you know, the people we're interviewing, you know, half the time they'll show up in uh, flip-flops and they'll want to dictate the hours to us. So it's it's really a combination of things, I think. It's getting, but at the same time, they also know people are waking up and they know that people are turning away from medications. They're also taking control of their health. They're realizing what's going on. So it's kind of, uh, you know, it, an attack against each other, positive and negative right now. And I think it's accelerating on the negative side, but it's also accelerating on the positive side. And we're caught right in the middle of these times right now, especially with, you know, all these things leading leading up to financial collapse and all the other stuff. And so it's real important, I think, for people to understand what they can do to help protect their bodies and help protect their families, because you have to know the truth and then you can understand how the solutions to the truth so you can protect yourself. Sure. Who have we had holding the longest? Is it Andrew or Adam? Andrew in New York, thanks for holding her on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Good, brother. All right, well, thank you for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, my question is for Dr. Uh, no, thank you, guys. My question is for Dr. Group. Uh, you know, that I'm really calling for my wife here, and it just so happens that she developed a cyst on her ovary a couple of months ago, and it really had been affecting her right side as it's on her right ovary, uh, what recommendations do you have to help detox or to minimize the effect of the cysts? We already been to a doctor and gave her some hormones. It really messed up every, her whole balance of everything. So, you know, we're a little concerned about the, the process here and what we can do. To sure. Well, obviously, it. he can't sit here and engage in medicine or whatever or his recommendations over the phone because he hasn't examined your wife, and that's probably even not his particular area. But what would you do? yourself with your wife what would your wife do dr group well what i always look at is what is the root cause of a woman getting any type of ovarian cysts and the root cause of that is toxic food toxic water toxic beverages toxic air but really what we've noticed over the time is the accumulation of phytoestrogens Estrogen dominance, that's why the medical profession with hormones, most of the time it doesn't work and their only solution is to go in and do a hysterectomy or do surgery and take the, the cysts out. What I would do is I would address the root cause of the problem, which is most likely iodine deficiency. Uh, you can link that to practically 99.5% of all ovarian cysts and for that matter any cysts in the body can be linked to an iodine deficiency so i know when I cows and horses won't get pregnant they up the iodine in their range cubes or in their candies they call them candies or cereals but they're basically just mineral and, and, and vitamin bars sometimes with some molasses in them as a treat right so what you want to do is get rid of all the fluoride intake that's coming in get rid of any type of chlorine exposure a lot of skin care products believe it or not can cause ovarian cysts because they're high in fragrances and phthalates and plastics and those are endocrine disrupting chemicals so so all the weird hormones that are artificial get in there and then just jack with it and then they want to mask the fact that that's happening with more hormones, it's like when five-year-olds go into puberty now, I hear they give them hormones to suppress it, not, hey, get your kid off the GMOs. Uh, you know, why is your five-year-old going into puberty now? It's, oh, we're going to give you more hormones to suppress that. Right. It's not that hard when you just look at the problem and then the root cause of the problem and, and work on it that way. Instead of addressing the symptoms which is what standard medicine does, you address the root cause. And that's cleaning up her diet, drinking pure, clean water, and supplementing with iodine, vitamin D also, vitamin B, and utilizing the body self-healing mechanism to eradicate that cyst over a period of time. God bless you, sir. Hope your wife gets better. I mean, they admit ovarian cysts, thyroid problems in women. I see the studies, the articles. They're just off the charts. And you go to medical doctors, most of them, some are good. Uh, and they just say, oh, here's this, here's that. They don't even ask, why is this increasing? They don't ask, why is breast cancer up? 
<laughs> right. They don't want to know. I mean, the reason is they're making too much money treating breast cancer and they're making too much money from all the people out there that are contributing thousands of dollars to all these pseudo organizations like the Walk for Breast Cancer. Millions of dollars. They make American millions cancer per event. Society and all this other stuff, which all they're doing is feeding the problem. And it's going around in a circle. And why is it always find the cure? Great. How about find why it's exploding and stop it? Exactly. How about find the reason? Exactly. That's how you really stop it. The cure is find out. I mean, it'd be like if cyanide was in a well in a water supply and half the town was dying. You wouldn't say, let's find a cure to cyanide. You'd say, stop drinking the water. There's been many a people that have come up with the cure including us when we were shut down in 1998 when we had our cancer and degenerative disease clinic and many doctors killed over it because they don't want the information out to the public. Remember in, remember in Australia about four years ago, the headline came out that Big Pharma uh, planned to kill doctors and, and, and people that were criticizing vaccines and drugs. And it said stuff like, we need to take this person out in the memos. Well, that's what happened. Take from them the, out. From the 20s to the 50s, they pretty much burned all the natural books. Uh, they took out all the... They, outlawed all the natural springs across the nation, which people used to go drink the water and, and, and bathe in the springs to restore their health. They, the AMA is actually just now launching a whole attack against medical doctors that are using any type of natural methods. So, I mean, there's, a, there's, a, there's always been an attack and there's a continued attack, except now that we have the internet, people are actually waking up and they're seeing the yeah reviews from third parties where we half the time we can't even post the, the reviews of all these people up there that are getting such good results and it's changing people's lives and, it, and we have the opportunity every day to go home and say we made a difference in absolute life today let's go to adam in colorado thanks for holding her on the air hi alex dr group welcome my question went, my question for dr group was about gallbladders i don't have one and i was just wondering what i'm in for and alex i was going to humbly ask your permission to use your voice in my Kickstarter campaign for InfoWars The Game. Well, I'd have to see what you're planning and I'd have to sign off on it. I can't just, uh, you know, I can't just uh, give people permission to this or that. But I'll tell you, you have fair use rights because I'm a public figure to use samples of me in a video game, a movie, whatever, without asking. Uh, it's just, it can't be a huge substantive part because then if I say people can do that, I've had them actually then say, oh, really? I own your show. David Icke had that happen to him where he said, oh, yeah, people can, you know, copy this or use it. They said, oh, guess what? You can't now. It's not yours either. So there's a double side to that. Uh, but uh, what's your uh, comment or question for group, my friend? Well, he, he was asking about his gallbladder removed. And let me just touch on that. Again, it's one of those things where if you have problems with your gallbladder and you're having the pain, he doesn't have one. medicine takes it out. Exactly what happened to him. Instead probably. of doing the gallbladder cleanse. So what you want to do is you want to do a liver cleanse. And now that you have a gallbladder, your gallbladder removed, your liver has to take on all the jobs of the gallbladder. So it's even more important to keep yourself doing, uh, eating clean, drinking clean, breathing clean, and also doing at least two to three liver cleanses. And if you have the money, what about a glutathione IV? Well, any IVs from a from a qualified natural practitioner are always going to be good. If you have the money for that, that's great. Uh, but it's still not going to purge the liver. It's like oil pulling when you do that oil on day five or day six, whatever liver cleanse you're doing, that can actually grabs and pulls all those toxins out. And well, yeah, I mean, if you look at what's in your gallbladder, giant green and black balls, almost everybody has them. Imagine not having that. Where does all that stuff go? It goes in the liver. It's stored in the liver. That's Good why Lord. we have some people that hey, have Hey, callers, we're out of time. Tosh Plumley coming up. Great job, Dr. Group. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks, You're going to be on the Nightly News tonight.